And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Well, a few little showers, mainly lake effect rain showers coming in from the northwest right now. And we'll have a few of these kind of off and on this evening and into part of tonight. The area that has the best chance of seeing some clearing, though, is the southwest and west. So that's the area that will be the coldest tonight. Elsewhere, the clouds, the heat from the lake, and a few little showers will keep temperatures up a little bit. But it's not going to be enough at all to get rid of the burn bands. Burn bands over most of the viewing area now. The exception will be Carroll, Clinton, Montgomery, and Tippecanoe counties. But every other county is under a burn band and the fire danger going way up by late in the week and into the weekend. So a few little lake effect rain showers at times. Very hit or miss, very spotty tonight. Here in Greater Lafayette, we dropped a 38. Again, colder in the southwest with some clearing. More clouds as you go to the northeast. But wind chills, 28 to 35 early tomorrow morning. Look at tomorrow, 48 to 56. And a strong north Wet, a north northwest to north wind blowing, gusting generally 30 to near 40 miles an hour. And every now and then you'll get a few little scattered rain showers coming off Lake Michigan with only 52 for the high at Monticello, 48 up to the north at Roselawn and Wheatfield, 50 Logansport, and only mid 50s at Crawfordsville and 54 at Frankfurt and Rossville. Now in Greater Lafayette, we're down to 32 on Wednesday morning with some clearing, but there's still gonna be a couple rain showers and temperatures near 40 in the far north and northeast during the morning. And then otherwise kind of decreasing clouds with time and 57 for the highs. So kind of breezy on Wednesday with 51 to 59 for highs, mid 50s Monticello, but still only 51 at Rochester, low to mid 50s Wheatfield, and we'll be pushing 60 at Malat. Vetersburg and down towards Foster and Covington. There is future cast again. A couple of little showers coming in from the lake. This is three in the morning. Again, you can see the area that has the clearing tonight right down here in our west and southwest. Still a few rain showers right at six o'clock in the morning around Winnemac, Monon, Headley, and then a couple here near Burlington and Galveston. And then we may get a surge of some clearing for a while before a few more clouds and a couple more little lake effect rain showers come in tomorrow evening. And then eventually tomorrow night, the western and southwestern counties will clear. So this is the area that has the best chance of getting down to freezing, but it'll be 40 under these clouds a little farther to the north and the northeast. Now we look beyond that and we start to warm up pretty rapidly later on in the week. These are all south to southwest winds late in the week with very high fire danger. Given the cold morning we're going to have, you know, Wednesday night, Thursday morning, we're going to be in the 20s to about 30. That will cure the vegetation. It'll turn it all brown and it will get very dry. So with the wind, the warmth, the very low humidity, fire risk way up by the weekend. Now this cold front comes through early next week that may bring a few very spotty showers and storms around but shouldn't be very many all the deep moisture is going to be out here in the western atlantic and the gulf of mexico we'll watch this and this down here for tropical development your 10-day outlook normal high is 65 down to 30 degrees early on thursday morning 36 friday morning highs in the 70s now we're pushing 80 by the weekend so a warm Dry weekend is coming up, but then maybe a couple little spotty showers and storms down the road here around Tuesday. And then after that, highs in the 50s and 60s and dropping back down to lows in the 30s.